Puff ran out. He was grabbing the towel. Ja ran out. He was grabbing the towel. Ja Rule ran out. He was grabbing the towel. And then Ja Rule. Oh, my goodness. Girl, girl, girl. DJ, stop the beat. Girl, wait till young Miami hear about this. Oh, God. A bodyguard is speaking out, and he is telling what he's saying. He said that Puff Daddy went to, an, a, you know, one of them stores. You know what stores I'm talking about when I say one of them stores. And he was getting a lot of stuff for his back door, a lot of stuff for his bottom. Stuff that you put into your bottom, that's what uh, Puff Daddy was doing. He was getting big old toys, different stuff to put in the bottom. Oh, my God. The bodyguard said he witnessed him going into Ja Rule room with them, them toys. And they stayed in there for some hours. Okay. And um, he said it was some some um, zesty activities was going on between Ja Rule and Puff Daddy. What? Why? He, oh, my God. Why he exposing a man's business like that? Oh, God, I don't know what to think about this. I don't know if it's true or not. But um, the reports are claiming here. Diddy's bodyguard claims Diddy allegedly had an encounter with rapper Ja Rule. What? What? Oh, no, not Ja Rule. Oh, my God. Ooh. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. All right, so uh, let's keep on moving on here. All started, we was in Atlanta. And this story starts when I'm with Puff and he's in the exotic bookstores and he's doing shopping, right? He's shopping, getting his stuff and everything like that. So, you know, this is the first time I was ever in an exotic bookstore with Puff. So, you know, I'm giving him his space. He's taking things off shelves and stuff like that because they gave him a brown paper bag when they gave him a brown paper bag he was just putting stuff in there so i said damn you know he got to go put it on the counter and you know show everybody what he's getting so as he going i'm just looking at the places where he's picking stuff from so there's one part he <laughs> he picked up uh some things from up here on my left side and then he, he picked like a quite a few of them down i'm like yeah, okay he put them in the bag. So when I went by there and I looked up there, I, and it said butt plug, and I was like, "Hey yo, <laughs> I was I was messing with him because people don't understand, you know, we was we we was like friends. He was a part of the same gang, so I'm still gonna tease him. I'm still gonna mess with him and everything like that. I could do that. It wasn't just no security thing. So I say, "Yo, what are you getting this for?" <laughs> And it said butt plugs, and he was like, yo, yo, can I do my shopping by myself? I said, yeah, you could do it by yourself, brother. And he started walking and everything like that. When he got to, I just waited at the counter. When he got to the counter, he didn't even have to show the guy nothing. He just gave the guy a wad of money. I mean, I mean, like, he gave a, the guy a stack something like this. And Puff wasn't a dude to carry no 20s and no 50s or nothing like that. And I mean, like, he just said, boom. And we walked out the store. So we had to leave Atlanta and go to uh, North Carolina for a show. You understand? And um, it was him, this rapper, Sarah, and this other girl. We all got on a, G, a G, G5 jet and we flew to, uh, G4 jet, and we flew to North Carolina because they was doing the show. You know what I'm saying? So, um, they were gonna do the show the next day. So uh, uh, they all, Puff had the presidential suite and him the rapper, Sarah, and this other girl, young girl, they was in the room. Now you hear all this, you hear all this stuff going on and everything like that. I was like, oh, oh okay. So I heard a bell ring. When the bell ring, I go to the door. I said, what's up? He said, uh, uh, my cousin up here in the room, I want I, I want to check him. You know, see, is he all right? I said, who your cousin? He said, uh, Ja Ru. I said, he good. He said, uh, yeah, but I want to check on him. I said, he in the room, man. They don't want to be bothered. He said, 
well, I'm going to go check on my cousin. I said, bro, you ain't getting in that room. He was like, yo, I'm getting in that room. I said, yeah, bro, trust me. Jesus Christ is going to come down here and take the air out of my body for you to get in that room. Believe what I'm saying. Yo, I'm going in that room. So he tried to do the bum rush, go in the room. I grabbed him, threw him up against the piano. You know, it was a little, you know how you throwing somebody around the room, threw him up against the piano, and then Puff ran out. He was grabbing the towel. Ja ran out. He was grabbing the towel. Ja Ru ran out. He was grabbing the towel. And then Ja Ru, Ja was like, Puff was like, well, Jay, Jay, what's up? I said, Yo, dude tried to get in the room, man. He said he's Ja cousin. And um, I told him he couldn't go in the room. He was like, I was like, yeah, yeah, Jay, that's my cousin. That's my cousin. He said, he said, but you ain't want to go up in there because it was a lot of freaking going on. That's exactly what he said. You know what I mean? Well, freaky stuff going on. And uh, um, <laughs> and I said, uh, I let him go. And then uh, Puff looked at Ja Rule, and he was like, and they went back in the room. When Ja said, you don't want to come up in there, a lot of freaky stuff is going on. You got to use your mind. What they was doing with those butt plugs. <laughs> All started, we was in Atlanta. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Daddy better pay this guy very fast. He's out here spilling everything. No wonder Ja Ru was always on time. Puffy did everyone, didn't he? The rumor about Puff Daddy being zesty has been talked about for years. Cassie was his beard. There were so many rumors from, rumors from different people. At this point, some of them have to be true. Why doesn't Diddy just come out already? It's the worst he kept the secret in Hollywood. Okay, uh, he got the Carisha to be with Sa uh, Santana. What? Protect this man at all costs. I love these Diddy stories. Where is Ja Ru at? He got to fight back. I actually think Puffy is ready to come out. Uh, where's 50 Cent? I wonder what Diddy did, yo, this guy. This secret society they got going on become less secret by the day. You know how it is, throwing someone around the room. No, sir, I do not know. He should just write a book. Y'all be mad sleep that whole industry on this type of time. So the toys couldn't be for the girls. I'm just asking. Not Ja Ru too, but why he telling? What is he getting out of this? Uh, you guys do understand there are two females in the room with them. I've always say men with a lot of kids got to be hiding something. <clears throat> uh, the way you can tell he's not lying. Uh, 50 Cent is going to have a field day with this. Two girls, two boys. How he get to that conclusion? The only person whose story is still consistent. All right, well, comment. Let us know what you guys think about this, and I'm out. Bye.